Oh, and you also get a little, see that? Fireworks, <laughs> if you're number one with yourself. New tip to get more views, compete against yourself using the new Creator Studio latest video performance. Each video upload, YouTube will show you how well it's performing compared to your latest 10 videos in the same time frame. In my case, the first 16 hours of my latest video is number one, I've beat myself, woohoo! compared to the first 16 hours of these other nine videos. This is very helpful because if you just look at the view counts of your videos in the videos tab, it's unfair because each video has been online at different, for different lengths of time. So these numbers are not relative. In the dashboard page, the, oh, and you also get a little, see that? Fireworks, <laughs> if you're number one with yourself. In, the, in this page, it shows you the relative performance at that time. It also shows you how many views you're getting. And my typical view count in the first 16 hours, again, this is relevant, is only 770 to 240. And my video got 312. That means I'm well above my average or my range. How are you doing? How do these numbers look on your channel? Send us screenshots or tell us down there in the comments below so we can all help each other grow together as a family by motivating ourselves to compete against ourselves and do better and get more views. We also have impressions click-through rate, which represents how many times people on YouTube clicked your thumbnail to watch your video when YouTube showed it to them somewhere on YouTube, either in the feed or in the suggested videos column. So 3% is apparently pretty good, according to YouTube. And my average view duration is right at the top. It hasn't beat my range, but it's very near the top, which is great. I also go very often to my YouTube analytics to look at my real-time count. And right now it's at 3850. If I click see more, I can see the details. This number is normally less than 3,600. Now it's 3,858, which means I'm doing much better. My channel is growing. How about you? When you check your YouTube analytics real-time views, what is your number typically? Is it growing when you publish a new video? This is how you challenge yourself. And I always sort by publish date so I can see which of my videos are getting more views. Look, there's one that stands out. The YouTube Removes Poll Cards video has consistently been getting over a hundred views in the last 48 hours, which is much more than all my other older videos. Let's have a look at why that one is outperforming and you should do the same for your channel for any videos that are outperforming yours. So the video itself is talking about a feature that YouTube has finally removed. The poll cards no longer exist. There should have been a poll card right here, but it's gone. YouTube removed it. And so I want to see why this video is doing so well. Let's have a look at the analytics. The analytics will tell us where my traffic sources are coming from, how people are finding my video. And look, the answer is YouTube search. People are using YouTube search to find my video. Sadly, YouTube does not tell me what keywords, they've removed that from the report. They used to tell you what keywords people were using to find your video. But now all I can tell is that YouTube search is the most popular source of my traffic. What are your most popular videos? Send us links to them down there in the comments below. I would love to see them, watch them, and give you my feedback as we all would to help each other grow. Another tip is to click advanced mode and compare the performance of two of your videos together by clicking the compare and choosing which video you will compare against. You also need to choose since published. This will show you an accurate comparison minute by minute of how each video is doing. These two are basically neck and neck. I can choose a different video. I can look at my previous video and I can see that my 2.2 million USD paid to you is outperforming significantly my previous video. These are also techniques that you should use to motivate yourself to do better to make sure each video is outperforming your previous videos. Now this 2.2 million video, what is it about? It actually means 
We paid you $2.2 million on June 18th, Freedom Family. Click that I to see the video. And the funny thing is, there's no YouTube chapters in my video. So sad. Even when I go to the video, they're not present. And they should be because I've followed the correct format of putting timestamps into my video description. But for some reason, YouTube didn't render them in this video. Do you know about YouTube chapters? If not, click that I to learn about them. And have you ever seen this happen to one of your videos where just YouTube doesn't render the YouTube chapters? It does render it on my other videos, like for example, this Trolls video. And you can see I do the exact same thing, it's the exact same format, uh, but for some reason, my $2.2 million video didn't get them. Let's read some of your deserving comments, Freedom Family. Starting with World Music Creation, who wrote, I've been Freedom Partner for nearly a year, very happy to have a great support from Taiwan, Asia. And I replied, big Freedom Family hugs. Thank you for your warm words about our Taiwan team. That's managed by my wife, Xenia, and I'm sure she's happy to hear this testimonial. Are you, mommy? She's nodding next to me. <laughs> LW001 wrote, I wonder why no one has asked about those active community guideline strikes. That is what I commented on at the beginning of my video here, and I will make a video describing how we got our first community guideline strike on Freedom Central and how you can avoid making the same mistake that we did. So I replied, yes, we got one community guideline strike. Actually, I explain it here. For uploading a video on the Impulse Show, you guys remember the Impulse Show? I do. That explains how to back up your videos in case your channel gets terminated. We appealed, but YouTube denied our appeal because we showed how to use tools to download your own videos that were not the only two official ways, Google Takeout and the one by one download video link in Creator Studio. I'll explain more in detail in a future video, but basically, YouTube doesn't want you to show how to download videos except using the official two ways I just mentioned. Ninja Joe 10 sent me his video where he will host the George show. I asked Ninja Joe, I challenged him, if you'd like to create a tip on how to help people grow, I will feature it on the George show. So what he did is he created an entire video of him teaching you a tip on how to grow, which I will show in a future episode with Ninja Joe as the host. That'll be a fun episode coming soon. Shwango Nam Tuan said, I did not receive my payment because my dashboard itself lost to Palti. The payment method has automatically changed to Freedom Bank transfer that I don't do. And I explained that since no one actually knew what Tipalti was, we renamed it to something more descriptive, Freedom Bank Transfer. So I asked him to update his name to match his own bank account name so we can send him his money. And he said he's already in contact with a helper. He's from Vietnam. And I said, great, I'm happy to hear that we're able to help you. If you have any issues with your payments, just email support at freedom.tm and our happiness team will be happy to help you. My own daughter Eve got on a comment spree. She left all these comments on all my videos and I'll pick one that I think is the most relevant. She asked on the $2.2 million video, do you get more money than the people you pay? I said, yes, Eve, we need to pay our staff and office rent to help you grow with freedom. But I misunderstood her question. She wasn't asking, do we keep more of the money than we pay? She was asking, do the people get more money than you? <laughs> I think she meant me personally. I said, no, Eve, I do not get more than the $2.2 million. If I did, I would buy Freedom Island here in Dubai instead of an apartment. I would love to have Freedom Island, a place where the Freedom family can come live and work together. Would that be fun? Actually, there is a show called Freedom Island created by one of you, Freedom Family, as a parody of The George Show. How many of you watch it? Tell me down there in the comments below. Mark Hyder wrote, 
I'm finding that I get more subs now than last year. 509 in the last 28 days. That's awesome, Mark. I'm happy to see you are growing faster. Tech Dunk complained. He said, I see you removed my comment admin rights. Had that from the time there were daily support streams. And I replied, fixed. <laughs> Sorry about that, Tech Dunk. I don't know how you got removed, but I have once again given you the power to administer comments here on Freedom Center. Central, I gotta edit that. Use your power wisely. And it's fixed, Freedom Central. Hoodie wrote a comment about when he was a teen in high school, how he got first paid by Freedom and made 70 bucks and how hyped he was for his first payment. And I said, whoa, I love that first 70 bucks you made with us. Brings back good memories of the early days of freedom. Never give up. And he was asked, and he was saying he's now 24 and GTA 6 still hasn't come out. And I replied, yeah, GTA 6 would be awesome to see. But how do you top GTA 5? That's an amazing game. Funny Man wrote a cautionary comment about how lots of people's YouTube channels get hacked. The best way to protect your channel against hacking is enable two-step verification in your Google account. That way, the only way to hack your channel is to also get your mobile phone, which is extremely difficult and unlikely for a hacker to do. Mr. Castiron wrote a comment about Facebook. He was asking, he's not clear, how do you get views on YouTube from those Facebook views if they're two separate animals? Click that eye to see my video about uploading to Facebook entire videos that you upload to YouTube, not just embedding them, so you get more views on Facebook and YouTube. I replied that actually uploading the raw file to both YouTube and Facebook is very helpful. You actually get views on both platforms, but you're not cannibalizing your audience because people normally stay on their favorite platform, be it Facebook or YouTube. If you just support one, you're not benefiting from the audience on the other. And I recommend you uh, support both platforms equally because you're not gonna convince your Facebook fans to move to YouTube and you're not gonna convince YouTube to move to Facebook. So support both and you don't need to support any other platform because Facebook and YouTube are the only two with two billion users on them. All the other platforms are much smaller and so I only recommend Facebook and YouTube, but if you have time and interest, of course, support other platforms too. Okay, Freedom Family, hope you found this video helpful and motivating to compete against yourself. And I hope you found my reading of your comments helpful. I'll keep doing that in future episodes, so keep sending meaningful and helpful comments down there below. Who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sun Pie, your Obi-Wan George Nobi, and now Mr. Super Freedom George the Not-So-Bearded Man. <laughs> I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! for freedom and the freedom family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. And today we have an eclipse. My wife told me in Dubai, the moon is covering the sun. And I went to go have a look and I kind of got blinded because obviously I have no idea how to look at the sun during an eclipse. Apparently you're supposed to poke a hole through a piece of paper and just look through that tiny hole with a pencil, you poke the hole. Anyway, I tried that too and I still didn't see it and I got blinded again, so I stopped trying to look at the eclipse. Have you guys seen an eclipse? Do you know how to properly view one? <laughs> Tell me down there in the comments below. And for the first time yesterday, I went swimming again in a long time with my daughter Eve, who swims really well. I swam 250 meters, I believe. Yeah, 25 meters and 10, 10 lengths. It's not bad, but I need to get back into it. They've just reopened the pools here in Dubai, uh, where we live, so I'm going to take advantage of them. Do you swim regularly or exercise regularly? I'd love to know. Remember that exercise is the best way to stay healthy and prevent getting the COVID virus and any other disease or illness is to make sure you build a sweat every day and however you do it, just get out there and get some exercise. Hope this helps. I am George. Oh, and if you like this video, click the like button and dong that bell to subscribe to Freedom Central. 
so you don't miss any future episodes of The George Show. And click that I to see the entire playlist of all my episodes in case you missed any to watch and grow and help each other grow together. I'm George and you've been watching. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.